I see, said the blind man. To his deaf wife. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason. I mean, look, it happens to be uh, an, an excellent idea, but you don't bring it up now. You bring it up when we're ready to say goodnight. And you talk about your uh, fig tree, and then you tell them what it means, and then you say, okay, think about it for a week. You know. Yes, the religion of the future. Pray to the fig tree. No, just kidding. Uh, you know, uh, you know, somebody had mentioned about the Pasvatarians, and I looked up on their website. And you can get ordained as a. Uh, as uh, that's a, all, you, and that's all somebody like you <laughs> has to hear, right? You can get ordained. You can become a a priest of. <coughs> well, you know, yeah. think about it this way: if you're a lover of pasta, which you are, yeah. you know. So what do you, what do you call the a, a reverend or or priest, a priestafarian, a noodle? <laughs> I don't know, but they, they have pictures there, and uh, they don't, they, you know, some people kid around that they wear strainers, pasta strainers on their heads. But See, uh, now that sounds like something I would do. Yeah, as a pasta fairy, why wouldn't you? But they, they say there's a history, goes back thousands of years, about the pasta monsters. And... Uh, the esoterics know about it because they know everything. <laughs> the uh, the best the, the best line for you as an esoteric minister is that you know if I tell you about it, I have to kill, kill you. you. Exactly. You know. You know, ladies and gentlemen. At least it buys you some time. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. All right, I'm going to do something different. We, we have to do this. If you're going to play a song, there's nothing different about, about oh, playing a song. Wait, I want you to hear this. Some men make proclamations, shout them from on high. Some men walk right up to the brink of death and stare it in the eye. Some men toil beneath the earth's tire, shoveling coal. Every man's responsible for his own soul. Oh, I remember this. You played this once before. Some men are successful. Some men are meek. Some men witness abuse and turn the other cheek. Some men are anonymous and some are CEOs. But every man's responsible for his Some men are independent from the first unto the last. Some men are wholly owned by Conde Nast. Some men talk of choice and lose sight of the goal. Every man's responsible for his own soul. Let some men use their power to fight for what is right and some men use their power to rile up and incite some men use their power to provide shelter to the trolls and every man's responsible for his own soul Born, the universe will die, and governments will rise and fall in the blink of an eye. Meanwhile, right now, someone's being harassed into a hole, and every man's responsible for his own soul. It's a 
perfect for the topic. Mark, when, nobody's going to hear you. Oh, is it over? Yes. Well, what I was saying was uh, it's, the song is perfect for the topic because, you know, we are responsible for our actions and, you're respon- and, and obviously, you know, you're responsible for your soul. Because your soul controls your actions. Not the no. Soul. No. You're in control. All right. If anything, you think about it after the fact because it's your conscience that tells you that you did something maybe wrong or right, you know. But um, that usually comes as an afterthought because in business, everybody's looking to screw the next guy. That's why I said that the way I put it, you know. Uh, you know, but eventually you are responsible for explaining your actions on that day of judgment, you know. Um, I don't know. Uh, when do you think the soul intervenes? I think you're... Well, I don't think soul enters into it until we're really, you know, when you know, if you're give, given a a really bad diagnosis by the doctor and he tells you that you don't have very much longer to live, that's when you start thinking about decisions that you've made and things maybe that you said, things you did, you know. And it's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, anyway, one of our callers asked me to give him a call. So I'll do that. If that's okay with you, Doc. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm wondering who it could possibly be. Well, I'll let you guess. I will let you guess. Yes, sir. Let's see if somebody answers. This is God. How may I help you? Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, how's your, how's your health? Um, so far so good. Um, on target now. Um, ready for surgery. I don't have any more antibiotics to take right now. Um, I have my biopsy next Friday, and then the twenty fifth is the surgery. So everything is right on schedule. Good. Do we know? Do we want to? Do we know what's wrong, or do we want to say what's wrong, or we don't want to do either? Um. You don't. Have I to- have a hole. In my, I have a hole in my bladder. They have to re- re- uh, repair it. Um. A hole I have. Bladder. Huh? No, no. Mark did not hear you. I have. Oh, he didn't hear me. No. I have a hole in my bladder. Okay. Basically, I have what's called, I I don't know how to pronounce it right. It's um, a fistula, and they have to go in and repair. So they're going in with the intent of taking part of my intestines out, part of my colon out, repairing the hole, and the urinary tract infection that I've had for the past year, will officially be gone once everything is repaired. And then all I have to do is concentrate on treating my Crohn's disease, and they said that I'll have a full recovery. Good. That sounds good. Sounds excellent. Yeah. So I'm preparing for it now. Comes time. And let's hope God is watching over you. Oh, he is. Trust me, he is. God doesn't need me right now. Well, that's good. That's a good thing. So I, I have all my plans in order pretty much now, and 
my job again has been so wonderful with me. Um, you know, they're, they're allowing me, you know, to go by my own schedule. If I don't feel good, go home, leave, don't worry about it. Um, taking a lot of days off for doctor's appointments and all that. So, I'm, you know, it's, I'm looking up, I'm looking a lot better and a lot stronger on it now that I know it's coming to an end and I can finally put it behind me and get on with my life and make sure that my health is okay and I'm just not going to avoid things anymore when it comes to my health and uh, that'll be it. Well, Felix was wishing that he has bosses as understanding as you. <laughs> I don't think anybody, honestly, I don't think anybody could. I've never worked for a company like this before in my life. It's just amazing. That's good. I hope and I'm sure you're doing a good job because otherwise they wouldn't be treating you this way. Yeah. I just had a one-on-one -on -one the other day. And it went extremely well. It went too well. I got another promotion. You did? So yeah, you... I think this is like the third promotion. In, and I'm with the company now four months. I think this is the third promotion in four months that I've gotten. So what's your position now? Um, it's pretty much the same. It's just a lot more responsibility. Um, they added... Now I do special projects for all the higher-ups, and um, instead of, I just had one account, like one major account, but now I, they put me regional, so I have the whole entire region. So I don't just have one particular main account, I have a vast amount of accounts that, my, every time I put the phone down, it rings. Good. Good, good, good for you. Do you get more money? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, not really. It's lateral at this point, but I will get more money. I think um, after my six months, they're going to raise me. Good for you. So what do you yeah. think of today's topic? What is it again? I, I read, I briefly read it. Now you don't have to. It's, it's Friday night, and God is watching you. He's yeah, God watches everybody. You know, basically, that's what we were saying. Yeah. Yeah, no, he watches over everybody. Yeah. We're all brothers and sisters, and we all come from one father. Unfortunately, uh, we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of boys, brothers and sisters who need some spanking these days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you watch the news, certainly. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's the way it is, you know. We were all here for a very short span of time. Yeah. You never know when it's going to be your last day here on this planet. And you have to make the best of it. And, I mean, they say that he judges you and, you know, there's purgatory and all that. I don't I don't really believe in that so much. I just believe that when it's your time and you die, your spirit goes I mean you go up there. Um I wanna believe that you're reunited with everybody again. But you I won't know, no one will really know until it actually happens. Yeah, nobody's ever come back, that's for sure. Yep, not even the right. lady. And the, the one kid that did say he came back, he was lying. Oh, you're talking about uh, Heaven Can we, um the, the yeah. book we were talking the movie we were talking about? Yeah. At 17 years old, the guy said he, he made up the whole story. Well, what about those people that say they they died and came back to life? I mean, I don't know if, if they remember what what they see or it's just maybe some kind of vision, um, a light or whatever, but I mean...